South Africa lost in the World Cup semi-final and no this time it wasn't a choke. In fact, if anything they handled the pressure pretty well. They put Australia under a lot of pressure instead. Eventually what made the difference if we look at the hindsight was a couple of decisions here and there and of course the six or so drop catches at least the number of catches I counted that were dropped. Welcome to Game Time World Cup Daily. We are here reviewing the second semi-final between Australia and South Africa. Which which Australia won by 3 wickets meaning that on Sunday November 19th at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad it will be a final between India and Australia Amit Kamath here with me and Amit uh, at the start of the tournament perhaps this was a final which many would have predicted although the path at least for Australia hasn't been that straightforward as we saw in the semi final Yeah Mir and I think one narrative that uh, the South Africans have finally put to bed today is the whole thing about choking as you mentioned way too many times we talk about you know how the South Africans choke but today I think at one stage they were 24 for 4 while batting first so from there to trying to actually pushing the Australians to until almost 16 balls and 3 wickets remaining in their hands a remarkable performance in fact there were moments i believe where it almost felt like australia were going to choke the pressure was so high on them but yeah maybe all the south africans are going to be left with today is a sense of what if like what if temba bumuma had won the toss had maybe decided to bowl first you never know what would have happened what if they had not dropped all those catches as you mentioned way too many catches were dropped some of them much simpler than the others what if those had not been dropped we don't know Oh yeah of course and one of the other what ifs for me was what if Temba Babuma the captain hadn't played <laughs> that's being harsh man I mean no I don't know how many captains would get away by saying at toss that they weren't feeling 100% fit but they still went ahead and picked themselves so I don't think that was an inspired call and it's not as if South Africa don't have an option Hendrix sir uh, as we've seen in this tournament itself has been spectacular opening the innings for south africa we've seen that he's played a couple of really uh, big knocks in this tournament uh, the one against england at wankhede was uh, spectacular i mean it was also decisive in a way because it laid the platform for hendrik klassen to come up with the fireworks the pre diwali fireworks yeah so hendrik and his record has been outstanding it's just a bit unfortunate that he's always been like the second choice to temba babuma because both uh, play for the same position in the team and he's just played fewer number of games even though he's been around with the south african team for close to 6 7 8 years now and i think if he had played in the semi final south africa might have had a stronger start although uh, like you said like it was rainy it was overcast there was there's a lot of movement in the air which australia managed to exploit and you wonder why south africa then chose to bo- uh, bat first on this pitch but again one of those many baffling decisions that captains have taken after winning the toss in this world cup Yeah and uh, Meer uh, while we talk about the tosses i think uh, ek digression to banta hai because today i have heard all through the world cup because the indian team has been so invincible that we have heard plenty of conspiracy theories coming up but aaj i think i might have just heard my favorite conspiracy theory apparently former pakistan player sikandar bakht has come up with this conspiracy that India ka jo captain hai Rohit Sharma when he tosses the coin he deliberately first hides the coin and then when he tosses it he makes sure that the coin goes far away so that the rival captain actually does not go and see whether actually heads aaya ki tails aaya which is i think <laughs> it's my highlight of the world cup i think that is a sign of i mean wahan pe itni khalbali mach chuki hai because of us doing so well <laughs> that this is beyond clutching at straws this is like clutching at fictional straws or something man i mean to be honest uh, thoda sa uh, it goes back to what we were 20 years ago right i mean with the spring in ricky ponting's bat and what was that sanat jaisuriya thing sanat jaisuriya ke gloves mein bhi kuch wo rakhta tha <laughs> to i mean it's just bizarre these conspiracy theories but yeah you're right i mean it kind of points at the fact that uh, कितना परहैप्स खलबली सी मच गई है इन मेनी फैन ग्रुप्स लुकिंग एट इंडिया प्ले एंड आई मीन वील ऑफकोर्स बी लुकिंग एट द होल प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंडिया वर्स इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया फाइनल बट डाइग्रेशन से थोड़ा सा अगर जो अमित लौट के वापस आए आई वॉज स्लाइटली सरप्राइज द वे साउथ अफ्रीका अप्रोच दिस मैच एंड डेविड मिलर इफ यू रिमूव हिस्स हंड्रेड एंड वन रन दे वुड हैव बेयरली क्रॉस्ड हंड्रेड 
आई मीन आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व दैट साउथ अफ्रीका स्कोर मिलर के आधे रन थे विच वॉज क्वाइट एस्टोनिशिंग एंड इफ यू सी बोथ दीज इनिंग्स इट्स क्वाइट कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग आई मीन ऑस्ट्रेलिया इट वॉज पेसर्स हु डिड मोस्ट ऑफ द डैमेज टेकिंग एट आउट ऑफ द टेन विकेट्स एंड इट वॉज द ऑपोजिट फॉर साउथ अफ्रीका वेयर कपरेश शमसी एंड महाराज इवन दे टूक ओनली थ्री विकेट्स बिटवीन दम सेल्स बट दे वॉर द वंस हू एक्चुअली ट्रैक साउथ अफ्रीका बैक इन टू द and again i'll say this if not for the dropped catches south africa would have been in a better place in fact not just the dropped catches even uh, gerald courtsy uh, who did his thing with the ball had he gone for his review he would have been not out and who knows five or 10 runs here and there at that point and it would have been a very different story for south africa yeah absolutely and in fact uh, the spinners that you spoke about uh, you know shamzi and uh, i think maharaj you look at the wickets that they took they took uh, between them they took the wicket of glen maxwell labushan and uh, travis head so like both critical wickets they've taken especially you know glen maxwell what he can do considering what he has just done to who did he do that to have it's it's been such a long afghanistan afghanistan yeah. <laughs> it's it's been such a long world cup that all of these teams are like merging into one now Yeah, and all of them also wear blue. A lot of them wear blue, so it really it's tough to differentiate one blue from another. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm just taking your side. I mean, I know it's sounding stupid. I'm not making any logic, but I'm just standing up for my friend here. And I I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. But yeah, get, coming back to the actual match. In fact, Mir, uh, we just spoke about you know how at one stage South Africa batting first was found themselves at twenty four for four. After which I think there was a whole rescue act. you know with david miller coming up with a century heinrich klassen coming up with 47 and if you look past both of them everything was like a collapse so if maybe these two had not clicked who knows yaar maybe it would have been a very very short semi final but the australians themselves then repaid you know these guys in kind because they were at one stage 137 for 5 i believe when maxwell fell in the 23rd over and after that i mean 23rd over tak it it all looked ठीक है लाइक मतलब हो जाएगा बिकॉज टिल वन थर्टी टू दे एट जस्ट लॉस थ्री विकेट्स देन दे हैड लबुशन विकेट गोइंग देन दे हैड मैक्सुअल विकेट गोइंग एंड एज सुन एज दोज टू विकेट्स वेंट सडनली द कॉम्प्लेक्शन ऑफ द गेम चेंज वी स्टार्टेड टू थिंक दैट ओ वेट इट्स नॉट सच अ फोर गोन कंक्लूजन आफ्टर ऑल सो वेरी वेरी एंटरटेनिंग गेम फॉर ऑल दोज हुव बिन सेंग दैट क्लोज मैचेज नहीं मिल रहे ये लीजिए आपको एक काफी आई मीन इट कुड हैव गॉन मच क्लोजर वी कुड हैव हैड australia down to nine wickets and maybe trying to get six runs of the final over or something but yeah i will take what we get yeah and both semi finals for that matter have been close i can't really help but uh, you know think back to south africa's batting and you think that even 10 or 12 runs more and it would have been very different uh, I was looking at the power play comparisons and the first power play South Africa was 18 for 2 and Australia was 74 for 2 so I think that's again the small battle within the many battles that Australia won and then you kind of look at the other factors it was uh, what the number of wides that these guys bowled South Africa bowled that was also uh, quite a big number which uh, eventually again choti choti cheeze right i mean 12 wides and overall 17 extras that's a little too much when you're defending a very low target so that's another bummer when it comes to south africa i mean i saw both these guys jeral kudsi and keshav maharaj play in mumbai on a track that was not that spin friendly jeral kudsi didn't play in mumbai uh, he played in ahmedabad which was another great performance for me and it's uh, crazy because he like mohammad shami uh, uh, wasn't really the first choice in the south african playing 11 i mean uh, gerald kudsi also like shami is a uh, injury replacement because of andre notche i don't know how you pronounce it i'm sorry if i'm getting it wrong i'm sure i'm getting it wrong but yeah he's also an injury replacement he's come up and taken what 20 wickets now in this world cup which is quite staggering and uh, i heard in the commentary that he was just playing the under 19 world cup a couple of years ago so yeah that's one big uh, prospect to keep an eye on going forward and kind of uh, sad for south africa because they look solid in this uh, world cup also a bias that uh, of the few matches that i've covered the most of these matches have involved south africa so you kind of start following that team and uh, yeah i mean in a way i was rooting for them today but yeah it was kind of uh, they, i mean they just lost the decisive moments in the match and not just that you mentioned uh, you know them slumping to 18 for 2 i was just reading somewhere that matlab itna bura hal tha ki this 18 for 2 is basically their lowest 10 over score in the past 15 years of odi cricket that they've played they've never had a situation as bad as 18 for 2 after 10th over 
मतलब उतना अठारह रन तो उन्होंने एक सिंगल ओवर में एटलीस्ट चौदह बार मार लिया इन दिस क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप इट सेल्फ सो समथिंग वेन टेरेबली बैड फॉर देम दे नेवर रियली रिकवर्ड दे हैड आई थिंक फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम आई थिंक वॉट वॉज इट द नाइन्थ ओवर और समथिंग इनफैक्ट इट टूक दम फिफ्टी टू बॉल्स जस्ट टू गेट अ बाउंड्री इन दे आर इनिंग्स तो मतलब एवरी थिंग दैट कुड प्रॉब्ली गो रॉन्ग एट द स्टार्ट वेंट रॉन्ग एंड देन फाइनली इट वॉज यू नो द मिलर इफेक्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉप डम अप Yeah, true. And in contrast, I mean, you look at Travis Head and David Warner. The start they gave Australia. Although I must say, I mean, I'm very disappointed with uh, Manus Labuschagne. I mean, he comes with such a big reputation, you know. So I always expect big things from him. And invariably, whenever I have seen him play, he has flopped. So I don't know. If it's so overrated, that he genuinely is so good, I'm not able to get it. But if his role in this Australian team, the reason, I mean, he doesn't look like a limited overs player to me. He doesn't. Look, I mean. पता नहीं वो एक फील नहीं आती उसमें से जहां पर वो बड़े बड़े छक्के मारेगा बट uh, उसका अगर जो रोल है टू बी दैट शीट एंकर ही इज इन रियली डूइंग अ ग्रेट जॉब ऑफ दैट आई मीन हिज विकेट ऑफ शमसी आई थिंक मेड दिस मैच इंटरेस्टिंग व्हिच इज अ गुड थिंग बट ऑस्ट्रेलिया वुडंट हैव बीन रियली इम्प्रेस विद दैट मैक्सवेल वेल हीज लाइक द मॉडर्न डे ऑफ रीदी दर इज अ बिग हिट एंड मिस केस विथ हिम Uh, Josh Inglis was wonderful, and I'm just going through this from thoda sa ek eye on the future with the Sunday match, the final between India and Australia, and these are the batsmen that will perhaps end up making either they'll end up making a difference or from India's point of view they'll be the ones our bowlers will be trying to target. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Mir, that uh, kind of opens a very fascinating portal for us to you know look straight at the. final where uh, india and australia will face each other at the cavernous narendra modi stadium in ahmedabad and uh, i mean i don't know about you but uh, a lot of people have you know started to talk about how this will be the time then that india will probably bring home the third world cup the last time they hosted a world cup in 2011 they ended up winning but i think that is not the memory that i have in my mind right now especially with australia making it the memory that pops up into my head is the 2003 world cup final where bahut acche bowlers the hamare paas like zaheer khan and co and i think they are both mercilessly slaughter kiya gaya tha hamare bowling attack ko by the australian batters obviously this australian batting unit is not the same aaj unhone maybe thoda sa they might have put the south africans under the sword in the power play at the start but then you saw them you know kind of loosen their grip on the throats of the south africans allow them a way back so they are not as infallible as i don't know maybe ricky ponting's team ya fir the australians of the past which have won five world cup titles we hear what is your reading of this australian team and how infallible are they or how uh, vulnerable are they i mean you mentioned the this australian batting lineup isn't the same as 2003 i would say that this indian bowling lineup also is in the same as 2003 and i think that's where the game will be very different this time i think i mean we should have this discussion maybe in depth tomorrow or maybe on saturday but i certainly believe you know that A I don't see Australia beating this Indian team and I think we already discussed this earlier in one of our earlier game time episodes that India is going to win the world cup and I still don't haven't changed my mind on that but even then even if India does not win this world cup on Sunday I think they have done enough uh, to go down as one of the finest uh, world cup teams India has had I mean in many ways they are better than the 2011 world cup a uh, team just for the kind of balance they have and the way they have played it's not the 10 wins out of 10 that's uh, doing it for me it's the manner in which they've uh, won those uh, 10 matches you know you mentioned the 2003 final and our entire all, our generation is scarred by it i can't think of a single person who will not be scarred of that match and it's crazy because 20 years later it's india who have that aura right now and not australia i mean gangoli's uh, india started to challenge australia's dominance back then and here we are right now where actually there are a lot of teams including australia who look at india with that kind of awe and fear and i think that's the story of this final uh, the tables have turned i don't know what the result will be though and i think mehir the when you say the tables have turned i think in in more ways than one right i mean right now you have probably the australian press the british press all of them wondering are like we are kind of in their minds because they are already thinking are pitch kaun sa hoga wohi wala hoga change hoga overnight kya hoga what is the new thing that the indian who are the hosts will try even though matlab icc ka party hai hum to matlab i know we are hosting it but we are still invitees essentially 
but uh, i mean that that power structure also has kind of changed for the rest of the world they are all now taking cues from india they realize that india is kind of you know the person who sits at the head of the table in a way so that is also another interesting in the next few days i am expecting a lot of stories about the narendra modi stadium and ye hoga wo hoga this is how they were <laughs> you know try and give the team a advantage and things like that wo to abhi bahut sunai dega i guess totally totally and i think kafi sare narratives abhi build honge but uh, yeah i think the focus uh, from an indian point of view uh, will firmly remain on the final uh, will remain on the prize uh, i mean we have two days to talk everything about the final on sunday yeah so that's that uh, i mean great semi finals both of them uh, new zealand and south africa unfortunately the two teams bowing out of the world cup but that just means one thing it's the age old rivalry between india and australia at the biggest stage of world cricket in at least the 50 overs uh, cricket the final of the world cup on sunday we'll be back with another episode of world cup daily tomorrow do tune in thanks for listening today You were listening to Express Sports by the Indian Express. This week's show was edited and mixed by Suresh Pawar and produced by me, Shashank Bhargav. If you like the show, then do subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also recommend the show to someone you think will like it. Share it with a friend or someone in your family. It's the best way for people to get to know about us. You can also tweet us at Express Podcasts and write to us at podcasts at IndianExpress dot com. 